Welcome to the next episode in our series of easy to cock easy very difficult to make, very difficult to say cocktails. Welcome back to the Twisted Tale for our next episode of Easy to Make Cocktails at Home. Today we are coming at you with a honey apple sidecar. The sidecar you may have heard of, a very classic cocktail from the United States. We are giving it a little spin uh, for a di different flavor dimensions, a little interest level. This is one that has been featured on the menu here at the Twisted Tale a few different times over the years. So we're going to bring it to you today so you can enjoy it at home. The sidecar is traditionally a brandy-based cocktail. We haven't talked about brandy yet in this series, so we thought it would be another interesting factor uh, for bringing this cocktail to you. Uh, for the honey apple sidecar, we are actually using an apple brandy, which is going to be Applejack. You could use a Calvados as well, both of which are apple-infused uh, brandies, apple-distilled brandies. And it just gives a nice fruity complexion to the drink, a little extra interest level. Uh, we are going to be splitting our uh, proportions between brandy and bourbon for this drink as well. Bourbon gives it a real nice backbone. Uh, and since we're a bourbon bar, why not? It is suitable. So we are going to start off as a shaken drink, putting ice in our shaker tin. <coughs> Put a nice amount of ice in there. And we're going to be building the drink straight on top of this ice in the shaker tin. So we're starting off with our apple brandy. This is apple jack. Laird's Apple Jack, and we are going one ounce Apple Jack and one ounce bourbon. For our bourbon today, we have chosen to use Knob Creek. Knob Creek is a product, one of the small batch series from the Jim Beam Distillery. Uh, however, it is 100 proof, so it has uh, more potency to it. It stands up well with other <coughs> flavors in a cocktail. And as we're using the bourbon as a backbone of the cocktail, as I said earlier, then that high proof really helps hold up the structure of the drink. So equal parts brandy to bourbon, one ounce each. And then to bolster the fruit component, we are using Cointreau. Cointreau is a traditional ingredient for the sidecar. If you really want to get snooty about it, you can substitute it for Grand Marnier. Whichever which suits you, you're the one drinking it. Uh, we are going middle of the road here, so we're using the Cointreau uh, as is traditional, and we are going half an ounce of our Cointreau. Cointreau is an orange-based liqueur. It has a slight sweetness to it, but it is not too, too sweet. But again, it will pair very nicely with the apple profiles in our drink to really bring out those fruit flavors. And the sweet balance is something that we're looking for as well. Citrus component to the cocktail is fresh squeezed lemon juice. So squeeze those, filter out the pulp that comes out so you have a nice clean lemon juice. And again, a half an ounce of our lemon juice straight over the ice into our tin. And then our sweetening component is our simple syrup. This actually we make with honey. So this is the honey component for our honey apple sidecar. And this is made in equal ratio of one part honey to one part boiling water. Dissolve it all uh, in there and then cool it down to room temperature. And you have a really nice, rich, flavorful honey syrup. And honey and apples are a match made in heaven. So this cocktail is really going to work well. So those are our ingredients. We have them in our tin. We're going to go and shake a Uzi. <clears throat> All right, you see the tin here is condensed on the outside. That's a good indication that it is cold. Also, I can't feel my fingers. So that is a good indication that it is cold and ready to go. Before we strain into our cocktail glass, so we are going to dress it up a little bit and we're going to rim this cocktail glass with a little brown sugar, sugar in the raw. So in order to rim something, you just need to put a little adhesive on the outside of the glass so that your sugar will stick to it. So just cut a little slice of lemon and run it around the rim of your glass, just about like a quarter inch thick, all the way around. And that will give you enough sticking power so that when you add it to your sugar, you'll get a nice crusty rim. This is gonna do two things. Obviously sugar is a little sweet, so you'll get a little punch of sweetness, but it's a brown sugar, dark sugar, so it's more of that molasses flavor than just pure sweetness. But also, sugar in the raw are large granules. So as you take those granules on your lips and you take that in with your tongue with the sip of each cocktail, you get a textural difference as well, and that's really cool and interesting for this cocktail. 
So we've had this sitting down in our ice. It is now ready to strain. We've shaken it really hard. We don't want those chips of ice coming out in our cocktail and ruining that textural difference that we have between a nice smooth liquid and a little crunchy sugar. So we're going to be double straining. Strain through a tea strainer or a fine strainer straight into our glass. Tea strainer will catch all those little chips of ice. So we just get pure, unadulterated goodness in the glass, which is what we want. Honey, apple, sidecar. We're going to be using an apple as our extra garnish as well. Just a nice little cross section of apple here. to go. I hope you enjoy this. Spin on the classic sidecar. From the twisted tail to you, honey apple sidecar. Cheers.